Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a simple trick that you can use in Figma to hide the header while scrolling. So a couple of our friends have asked us on YouTube and Instagram that if this is possible in Figma. So here is a quick video and a quick disclaimer here that this is not going to work on a mobile. But if you're doing your preview or your demo on a desktop app or the browser app, this is definitely going to work and it's really useful. So let me just quickly show you what we're trying to achieve in this video. So here we are on Google and these are some sample interactions. So let me just pick this one here. So if you can see here, we have a website and this is the header, right? And as this user is just trying to scroll down, you can see that the header gets hidden. And this is the interaction that we're trying to achieve in this video. So let me just quickly show you a demo and then we can get started on how to do it. And this is a screen that I picked up from the UI kit of Instagram from Figma community. So let me just quickly preview this. Here we have the preview loaded up. And if you can see, this is the header of Instagram and keep your eye on this area. So as I scroll right, the header is hidden. And as I scroll back to this area, the header is shown. So this is the kind of interaction that we're going to do in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I'll just remove this part here and I'll show you from the scratch how to do it. So here we have a base screen on which we're going to work. And if I try to expand this frame, right, you can see that I have multiple posts below this. And since I have these extra posts, that is why we are able to scroll it. And also one thing to keep in mind, if you want your frame to scroll, you got to make sure that your frame is selected, go to prototype and the overflow setting is set to vertical scrolling. So only if you set this, you can have your screen scrollable. So make sure that is done. And the trick here is that once your mouse is on these three posts, right, I want to uh, change to a different state where the header is hidden. So that is uh, done using a trigger called as mouse enter. So once your mouse enters any of these three posts, which is below the first one or the view area of the first screen, you want the header to be hidden. And once your mouse is back to this first post, your header will be again shown. So that is the trick that we're going to use here. So for that, I'm going to select these three posts and group it into one so that we can add a single action there. So as you can see, I'm just selecting these three here and I'm just using command G or control G, which will just group it. And also I'm just going to rename this as mouse enter or mouse trigger just to make it simple to add an action. So that is done. And now what I'll do is I'll just uh, resize it back to 812, which is the iPhone 11 size here. And now I'll just duplicate this one. So in this duplicated state, I don't want the header. So I'll click on the header, make the opacity as zero. So it is hidden. And next, all we are left is to do the prototyping. So I'll go to the first artboard, select prototype tab here. And as I mentioned, here we have the mouse trigger, which is the remaining three posts, right? So I'll drag a link from here to the next frame here. And as I mentioned, the trigger is not going to be on click. It's going to be mouse enter. So this is the trick. So once the mouse enters this region, I want to jump to this state here. So once we are in this state where the header is hidden, I want it to only go back to the header state once we are on this region, that is the first post. So I'll click on the first post here and I'll drag a link to this frame right here. And again, the same thing. So mouse enter and instant. So that's it. Uh, we are done adding the links, but let's see how this is going to work. So I'll click on preview. And if you can see, uh, this is not working so well. It is having a lot of jerk and even it's not getting hidden. So the issue here is when you're linking this stuff, right? You've got to make sure that the preserve scroll position is activated. So I just wanted to purposefully show you this because you once you navigate from frame to frame, you want the scroll to be preserved. Only then we'll have this uh, smooth animation. So I'll enable this one for the first one and also for this linking as well. So in both the cases, we have enabled preserve scroll position and now let's try how this is going to work. So there you go. You have the smooth interaction. The header is getting hidden and you know, wherever you place the mouse is going to work, right? So even if you're on the top region, it's going to get activated once you enter the second post, even if you're at this position here, it's going to work. So that is how you can do it. And you can also do this for the web applications as well. So I just wanted to show you this on the mobile and you can do different things, right? It's not just hiding it, but you might have seen different things. Like once you have started scrolling, you'll get the shadow. So let me just show an example for that as well. So in the first state, I basically don't want the shadow to be shown. So there's no shadow. It's just a smooth uh, white background. And in the next state, I'll make the shadow enabled. Okay. So if you see here, the shadow is enabled. So let's see how this works. So if you can see, once I've started scrolling, I have the shadow, but if I'm back here, you don't have the shadow, right? So this is also a different type of interaction that you can follow. So these are just some examples that I've showed you, right? So you can try different things with this uh, trick here. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful. Thanks for watching.